Growing up around here, sometimes I had to wear the parka under my Halloween costume. But if you're going to boo at the zoo this weekend, you don't have to wear a coat under your Halloween costume, kids. So that is some good news. It'll be in the 80s, as Chelsea just showed us. Take a look at this. We are unveiling a brand new camera today. Our live camera from Plymouth Meeting, Montgomery County. The camera is on top of the Place One Apartments. This is one of the tallest buildings in the county, and it gives us a perfect 360 degree view all over the area so we can see the buildings, even in the city, we can head to the west and get some gorgeous sun sunset shots or some sunrise shots in the east. It is a fabulous camera and really, really looking forward to bringing you some really cool views of the area on Eyewitness News from Plymouth Meeting. So excited to unveil that for you today. Storm Scan 3 showing what we have coming our way. It's a cool front. It's moving across portions of the Great Lakes, but this is not going to be our typical run of the mill cold front that comes through with a couple of showers and then cools us down. This thing's staying around for a couple of days, unfortunately, and then it's going to head back to the north as a warm front. The actual cold front associated with this system is still all the way back into portions of the south central United States. That front likely not coming through until next week. So we'll, we'll be talking about temperatures above average, humidity above average, and the chance for a couple scattered showers here and there for the next few days. This front doesn't have a lot of moisture with it, but you can see the trend sag southward tomorrow and then here's Friday. Notice that front becomes stationary and then starts to activate back north as a warm front. This is what's known as the warm sector of a storm. You see this area here, this quadrant between the warm front and the cold front. That's where the heat is. That's where you get a southwest wind. So with that front stalling just to the north, we get into the southerly flow. The humidity increases and along that stalled boundary can't rule out a couple of showers into the weekend, but it's next week that an area of low pressure is going to ride along that front and bring us a better chance for rain. So watch how scattered these shower chances are over the next couple of days. Tomorrow we start with just a few clouds into the afternoon. The clouds will be around. It's not a full sunshine kind of day like we've been seeing. Stray shower tomorrow afternoon to the north, possibly a few showers tomorrow night as a little batch comes through Friday clouds. And again, maybe a stray sprinkle, but not much. It's just more cloud cover and warmth and humidity that we'll be feeling over the next two days. Then we have to watch Tropical Depression 16. This thing is headed to the north, and you can see it's expected to move over the Yucatan Peninsula and then hit along the Gulf of Mexico, likely just as a depression. Doesn't look like it's going to strengthen, but some of that moisture getting pulled up the eastern seaboard and will likely impact us on Monday, Columbus Day, into Tuesday of next week. So that's our next chance for some appreciable rainfall. Tonight, 16. A little milder than recent nights. It's not going to be quite as chilly when you step out the door tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, 82 degrees. So hopefully you didn't pack away the summer gear just yet. My kids will be excited. They can wear shorts and t-shirts and not have to wear their jackets at the bus stop tomorrow. Friday, 80. Saturday is warm and steamy. And it could be a little showery for the Eagles game, but it mm -hmm. looks like the steadier rain will come in Monday into Tuesday.